All right, so I am going to start a brand new clipboard project. This is a live recording on Ustream, so if you hear me talking to people, it's the people in the chat. What I've done is I've just taken a basic clipboard. Just like this. Gessoed it and given it a couple coats of paint. The paint that I use today is Deco Arts Americana Coral Blush and that was the color that I've used on this jelly print so that's what I decided. It won't be a whole lot of the clipboard showing but there will be a few places. So I'm going to start with a bunch of blue watches that I found in a magazine. Most of this is just stuff from magazines that I've cut out. And this girl has kind of like ocean hair. And I did take a picture of my layout. So I'm going to pull that up just kind of as a reference. So I can pull things off and then put them back on. But I'm going to glue that to her so it can move as one. And you'll see she already had like ocean over imposed over her hair. And I think I need to straighten her the side of her. I want to just square that up a little better. So she sits on that paper just a little bit better. And I, this was a ad for a diamond ring and I'm going to trim that and add it on her neck as a collar necklace and I'm just using regular glue stick at this point And then this was a ring that I cut out. I didn't cut all the background out. Um, and I'm going to slip it over this set of watches. And then I can treat that as kind of one piece. And then I have a slit in this part here, so I want to leave that up for right now because I want to tuck a little diamond in there.
man. I had this the smaller watch. I just tried to find all watches that had um, silver and blue diamonds. Actually, I don't, it's not going to work too much if they go ahead and just glue her down onto the jelly print with the, because with the magazine, I have to use the stick glue, at least to begin with, or you'll get such bad wrinkles. to lift this up and tuck oh I switched up two of the watches but that's really not going to matter I'll tuck this one in Some of that will hang off. I either wrap it around or I'll trim it. All right, so let's get the rest of her. Put it down. Go ahead and take this out. I pre-trimmed around. It's not perfect, but I just wanted to try to get that around the clip a little bit. one if I can and I'll replace it with a littler one because this big one was over here right there and then I had a diamond down here I think that's pretty well balanced put my title and then I'll be able to with the weight of the jelly print paper I think I'll be able to use the 
decoupage. And when there was something else I wanted to do right here on the cream, so I want to pick her back up. And I had some old sticker borders and I thought it might add some interest. Save that little bit because you never know on a card or something and then I had this is too skinny but they one of the skinny ones and put it right where mm -hmm. the jelly print ends was the thought. I'm gonna let it hang over a little bit. On the sides and put that extra up. And I can glue her back down. Because I thought when I got rolled up when I got I can put this other one right here because some of that bottom is going to show right, well I have the glue stick out set that aside this is the back I always decorate the backs even though I expect most people are gonna usually hang them on the wall and there's some people in the beach scene and I just wanted to get rid of them. So this was the necklace that went with the ring that I'd used on her hair. So I'm going to make it cover those people. and go to the top but I also have the sky so I cut that off and I thought that I would put that on and leave like a stripe of the coral on the back and I think for this I need to at least start with the glue stick and then I'll probably put a coat of either triple thick or the satin decoupage I'm just gonna, but I want to start with the glue stick Because that's craft paint, that's pretty rough still, so it shouldn't have any problems adhering. Still gonna get some wrinkles just because it's a magazine. But 
I actually like wrinkles. Welcome to those of you who've joined us. What I'm doing is using magazine collage to decorate a clipboard. And this is the back I'm working on. And then I want to work on the front. I have a second one that I may or may not get to today. Um, the paint's still drying. And since it's so humid outside here, it does not want to dry. I'm just going to go with the wrinkles because I know it'll end up getting a layer of decoupage. But I'm going to wait on the back. All right, so I'm going to start on the front. And this is just jelly printed music paper that I've added the magazine on top of. And it's not cut to fit perfectly, but it was cut to, to fit up in there. said I know there's going to be wrinklage and I think what I'll do later is come back and hit some of the edges with the with the coral paint edge right here. slightly over the edges up at the top. <coughs> Excuse me.
Rinse my brush. Still have a little bit of that gray paint in my brush paint from earlier. I'm going to leave her up just a little bit because I'm going to take that other stripe that I had and put it on the bottom where the paper is meeting the clipboard. Oh, how about the chat? Yeah, I thought I'd we tried again. It's it's out, but it's not working, Jean. Let me see. Yeah, it just shows me chatting. If I refresh, I'll lose the recording. It has been such a pain lately. We try to share and then switching back to the chat. Well, I thought y'all were awful quiet. No, it's not a canvas. I can see in the social stream. It's a clipboard. Tweet me if you have a suggestion, Jean, because I'm not... And on the regular... What, maybe I need to stop the recording and refresh, like stop the broadcast and start over and just have it in two parts. I think I want that. See, I popped out the chair. It's popped out. I'm not on the pro. I'm just on the... Yeah, I'm not going to refresh the whole thing unless... I've gone from menu to chat. And I can see on social... And if I pop out on the people, it just says one chatting now, me. That's all it shows. It doesn't show any of you. Oh, okay. wait a minute. Something just... Now I may have got it. Now now I've got it. Now I've got it, Jean. Let me move it over. I've never had to do that before. Yeah, now I've got it. Yeah, you are invisible, Bryn. 
I knew there were like four people there, but I just thought everybody was being quiet. All right. So I just thought I'd pop on and get started on this since it was, I have this one done ready and I have another one. I thought if nobody came, I'd just push it to YouTube and be no big deal. And if I was going to do it anyways. Like I said, I'm just going to embrace the wrinklage. Yeah, that's uh, quiet. And then I'm going to hit it. with the good stuff here. Now I will um, put on a layer of the the triple thick spray when it's all dried and I know that nothing's damp inside just because I like that hard gloss. Yeah not Eileen. But sometimes Eileen watches quietly. And I checked out the the photo transfer medium. Jean, here's what it is. You get whatever the substrate is with this, and you put this on the picture that you want to transfer, and you put them together wet, and then you clean it up with like a damp baby wipe and squeegee it so that it has good contact, and then it has to sit for eight hours. And then you get it wet and remove the paper backing. So I figured that was not really going to happen. I just didn't really have anything that I wanted to um, transfer that I was willing to ruin. So I did find a photograph, a magazine, and I thought that I would paint a clipboard white or put gray, like light gray cardstock pattern, and then put her on there where you could still see the pale gray pattern. Yeah, it is a deco art product. It's a deck. It's an Americana line. So I just hadn't used it. I had ordered it last time I ordered from them, but I hadn't used any. Um, I was ordering more of the triple thick, and I thought, well, I'll just try it and see what it, what it's like. Because I wasn't super happy with what I had done before. But like I said, I don't really transfer a whole lot. Oh, is that how Omni Gel works also? And after she's dry, I am going to stamp do a stamp on there across and let it go like across her face. The 940 is the, is that the paper that Eileen was talking about? Oh, are you talking about cameras? The Logitechs. I don't know which mine, one mine is. I think I have the one that Everyone says not to get because of the autofocus. I have the 930 is the one I have. But after I got it, I want to say that um, that was, people were talking about that was one of the ones that people had the problem. Yeah. But does my light flash like Dee Dee's does, Jean? It doesn't do that in and out. But it could just be 
that I keep something on the table enough that it doesn't do it. Hi, Mitzi. But I am recording, and so I will I will push it to YouTube when we're done. I don't know if I want to... I think I am going to wrap that around the back where the watch is, just to give the back a little more interest. Okay, let me set that over there. Try to push out some of the air that I can see bubbling up under her face a little. There's a spot right there on her cheek. Well, I'm just going to end up tearing it. But I think I got most of it to lay down. All right, I'm going to set that aside to set and dry. And I'll get the other one. Just a second. And this one has old folk art paint that I've been trying to get rid of by Plaid. I don't even know if they make this color anymore. It's Greenscape, so it's kind of a green gray. And again, I gessoed the clipboard and then gave it a coat of paint. And now I've got paint everywhere on me since I touched the bottle. And most of this one, I have patterned paper to go on. So let me grab that. And I'm going to start with the back. And I'm making these wrap around. And the back's dry. So I think that'll work. And this is the jelly one of the jelly prints that I did the other day on the music paper. And it's got that iridescent green blue PBO with a copper. And you can still see the music paper behind it. Sure, I like the this gel medium as much as I do the Mod Podge, which I don't have any right now. All right, and so this one is going to wrap around, but I don't want to wrap it around yet. The gray cardstock that I want to just put right here. I did everything with a dry fit. Oh, I think I would love the Golden's gel medium. I know I love. I'm out. I need to get the heavy gel in the jar. I need to get some more of this. I just, I was going to order it on Amazon, but I thought that um, it might be just better to go to Michael's when I pick up my canvases and use my coupon and it would end up being less money in the long run. Yeah, I'm afraid I would like it and I would never go back. 
So I think I should get some and like how I wouldn't mind having like all of them like choices. All right, let's set all of her to the side. And this is the piece of cardstock. I think I want to put the gel medium on the back of it and then work it up. I'll put some on here too. And it wraps around also. So that, like I said, there's very little of the gray going to show. Where you need another hand. You got to get up and over. And this is an old clipboard. So it really has some um, like metal pieces. Okay, so let's go back to, that actually went on pretty well. Pretty smooth, made really good contact. I have um, like 40 of them from school and I don't ever use them. We used to use them when the kids would go outside and like to the garden or something, but we don't even hardly have grass, let alone a garden at the school that I'm at. So they were just taking up room. And if I left them out, then the kids would steal them. So I started bringing them home. And then my husband was like, you ought to decorate one of those. So that gets it covered. There's a little area right here. Uh, yeah, like in the music room. Yeah, because you don't have desk. I mean, I have had um, labs and stuff where we used them and they went around with the clipboard. But I just found that I wasn't using them that often and that they were just another thing taking up room. So I thought, why not um, make them and sell them as a more affordable piece of art. Because I'm always trying to find stuff that's more affordable for the people that come to the art shows. And I have some pieces that go up here. 
that I might put on later. That was just a different pattern that I thought might be interesting and even to wrap it around. Just like a little polka dot in a lighter gray. And it would just cover up some of the lines where the paper didn't meet. later. Let's go ahead and get to her. And I did take a picture of the front and back of this one too. Hi Glenda. But here's the girl that's going on this one. I'm going to round the corner of her body. There. I'm going to switch back to the glue stick to start with and get her on the paper. I need to order a new uh, mats. Right now I've got an oven liner that I'd ordered but I didn't like. And then on top of it is my one from Ranger that was damaged and so when it laid over the oven one it but now they're both kind of in sad shape now I need to put her necklace on before I forget there. So I can wiggle that around. That was just a advertisement for a ring. Just pop a couple holes because I have an air bubble there. 
and then when I put the gel medium, it'll go down in those holes. And I'll be able to push most of that air out. where I'll need a photograph to help me. Because she has some other pieces of jewelry that are woven around. This is just a piece of the jelly print cut that we did the other day that was gold and red. All right, and then this is the jewelry that's got, it's like got a little butterfly that was in red and white. I don't want to deviate a little bit from my plan. And I'm going to let it wrap around the back side. There'll be some on the back too. I just like the red and the gold and how it popped on the gray. This little extra butterfly. Missing part of its wing. All right, and then there was this one. Yeah. Okay, I think because these are so little, I might put a coat of the gel medium on. And just adhere them with that. It's going to get a coat of it anyways. And I'll give it something to stick to. Because they'll just tear if I try to. Hi, Iffy. If I just try to. As long as I can get that end up under that circle. That was my main goal. And then I had a quote up here. It said life is good. Whoa. Did you hear that thunder? Yeah, I want to say it's Gigi. Um, I can't think of her last name that she uses. Her mom's on The Real Housewives. I'm pretty sure that that's who that is. Um, her dad's name is Mohammed. Yeah, that was loud. It is fixing to storm. We have had big storms every day. And then poor Austin and Houston get the runoff, and it adds to their 
flooding issues. We haven't really had, we get temporary flooding, but we haven't really had flooding. Unless you live like on one of the lakes, they probably, they always get it when it's, That was minimal. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was pretty sure that's who it was. All right, and then this is the other quote. That goes here. It says, find joy every day. But she is pretty. Her sister models and her brother models too. But I don't think they model at the level that she does. All right, let me check. And then I had one more piece of chain. With a butterfly on me. There's this one right here. And it went from this butterfly. around her face up under the clipboard. So I think that'll wipe off the edge of that blade so it's not sticky and I'm gonna let her dry and then we'll have to come back to her back of her but this one's dry Now, what I want to do, I think I want to add some drop shadows in some places with the pit pins on top of the gel media. Mainly just like a gray, like just some shadows. But what I had seen that I thought was really interesting on Pinterest was they had stamped across yeah like I said we've we've been watching the storms all weekend the main thing is um, you got to make sure that fat fanny the big cat has a place to hide Let me get my black ink which She's all right under her tent, I'm sure. And 
Gibson Baba Boy Cat is probably under the bed. Oh, I like that. Just some script and a postal stamp. I have another script. I'm going to find it little. Yeah, um, Fat Fanny is P-H-A-T. She's named after um, Fanny in the movie Funny Girl. I used to have a Sadie. You know, Sadie, Sadie, married lady. But uh, she ran away out the window one day. And the other two, the brother and sister are named after guitars. So it's Gibson and Taylor, we call her Tay Tay, is the Siamese. And the band named them when they were practicing. And there was uh, Takamini and Martin and Henry in the end. Because once we went with the guitar names they thought they had to. So I'm just adding some little pieces of script here and there. And then I think I want to use, I have a couple small blur to leave type. Almost like a tattoo. Kind of a flower. I'm gonna do that. Uh, it slides on the But as Lane says, a wet wipe will fix everything if you get at it right away. Well, there went the flash flood warning on my phone. All right, I'm going to try this again in just a minute when it dries. Get one over here. And I don't have a block. Oh, that's cute. I think that's good enough. Might put a quote in here. 
later. Right there, kind of. I think that's enough on that. In fact, it may even be too much in some place. Yeah, I like pause and presto. All right, I'm not sure. I think that one's got to come off. It's too too in your face. Try one more. Just want to lighten that one. That's better. I think I like that best. And then I'm going to let it dry for a minute and then kind of lighten it a little bit after it's kind of dry. Try to pick some of it up. Like I said, it slides on here because it's still wet. I'm going to set her side to dry. kind of thought it might look like a tattoo. Uh, Fat Fanny should be gripey Gus, because all she does is gripe. Okay. Let me get some of this coke off my fingers. Yeah, she's dry enough to flip it over, because it won't sit flat anyways. And I can work on the back. And the first thing I have is, oh, I didn't do any marker work, but that needs to all dry. Because I have a gel print to go on top of this gel print. I have to say it's one of my favorite things is matching patterns with patterns. I think I'm just going to go to the edge. See you later, Arlene. Okay, honey. So whenever you get hungry, we can put together at that time, not now, but whenever. Okay. Okay. Bye. Gotta love a husband who will cook. I hate to cook, and he likes to cook.
We need to get a new uh, expired gift card as a scraper. Okay. picture again. It's just more um, jewelry cut from magazines. There later. And then I have some more of the butterflies. To include white one that's all white and then I have one that is red I think I'll put that down there but I don't have a second red butterfly so I have an extra white one Whether the back will be seen or not depends if they hang it or use it as a clipboard, I guess. By the time you put the triple thick on it, it's fine to use as a clipboard. Set that aside to dry. We're running out of places that don't have paper.
It'll tilt. Let me look at this stack. But I don't want it sitting on anything that'll upset me later. Too many stacks of too many projects. And not enough room to work. I need to find my, get my baskets back out and use them. I've got too much junk stashed in them. All right, so let's see if we can very carefully, without smearing it, lift off. Yeah. Just lift it in some places. But I can see that ink is still too wet to do anything with. All right, let's go to the back. It needs a coat to seal it. Yeah, I have a tea set up. So I have my work table and a cart, and then I have two long tables. One I can't reach. And one I can reach, but it's got the laptop on it. So everything gets stuck here to the left of me. And I have shelves, not shelves, but um, like drawers below the, the desk to the left of me. And my cart to the right. And I just have stuff stacked everywhere. I have shelves all behind me with storage stuff. But the stuff that I'm working on, if I get too many projects... It, then it gets in my way and that's when I need to use that table I can't reach for as I need to get those baskets get them organized and stack the projects in the wire baskets that then they stack on top of each other and then I can just grab the basket do the project and empty it out but yeah I didn't have anything and then I started when I started putting together ideas for three of the clipboards I started pulling stuff for the black canvases that are coming from Michaels. And then I was like, oh, and this would be good for a card. And I still have that, those house projects I'm working on. Too many little projects, probably. But I have a big one that I'm avoiding that I need to finish. And it's houses, but I can't film it or do anything because it's the canvas is bigger than the table and the table's four feet so you'd have to like again I'll have to work probably in my bedroom so I think I'm gonna do a bunch of the houses like independently and then put them on the the big Like I said, I'm just going to go with the wrinkles and enhance it later. I try to stay clean. I, I or I can't. And I have way more space than I had at the apartment when I worked before. Um, just you get used to that space and you acquire more things and more shelves and then suddenly you don't have enough space again. magazine stuff wrinkles if you use anything else besides the glue stick I 
Christy. Stuck my hand out of there and damaged anything? I don't think so. I do like that the front keeps the backs of these elevate, you know, keeps it elevated so that your work is still tacky, isn't sitting on the craft mat. I'm gonna just take my exacto knife and pop a few holes in places and see if I can't squeegee some more of the air out. Even if it means just creating a wrinkle. did in the center got most of them. There's the rain. Oh, it tore. Well, you know what? It's vintage. Just gonna go with the tears. Just in case someone Come back hit him with a pit pen later. Okay, I think that's good. And that needs to dry. And I can trade. one. I might hit this one with the heat gun just a minute. So it's not quite as tacky. Just want to make sure that it's not really going to stick to the table when I flip it over. So I'm on her face. So I think I'm just going to hit that little white spot. A little. Just go with it. And this is dry enough. I can probably add some drop shadows around some of this stuff. It's not going to show up a whole lot on the gray. Just like how it finishes the edges 
of stuff usually. Yeah, I do two or three. If they're not too expensive, I do two or three, Bryn, a year. Um, I'm signed up to do one on the 18th of June, maybe on the 10th. And then there's one I do in October that's real big that I do every year. Um, but it's a, they're all affordable, like... The one that I'm going to do on the 10th is like $35 to be a vendor. The one on the 18th, I think it's $25 plus a $5 application fee. So it's like either $30 or $40. I can't remember. And then the one that I do in October every year is $25. And it's from 10 to 10 So I usually do pretty well. at those and it's gotten where like people know me and come back and um, find me in the you know they'll do a program and so sometimes somebody will come back that bought something will come back yeah I have well because of the Etsy store I have actually quite a bit of inventory. I take a lot of my jelly prints and then embellish them in some way and mat them and sell them. Uh, cards. I just take jelly prints and do something on them and then sell them just like this. I have a bunch of canvases that are already done. I mean, I don't really have... Yeah, I'm trying to keep on some of the lower end and then I keep some bigger pieces. And then I'll do um, custom commissions that I'll get sometimes from the shows. Uh, usually what I'll do is they'll pick a time period and then we'll embed information about the background of that person so it almost tells a story. And then I'll paint the person in the air. Like, I've, I don't know, I've done a Navy, I've done a Marine. Um, graduation with school themes. I don't think I'm going to stamp on her because her face isn't really since she's turned away and it's not really going to show up on this gray scrapbook paper. Right now I'm just taking the pit marker around the edges and just kind of creating a shadow and taking away the harsh lines. Of the magazine just to give it more 3D depth so it really looks like it's laying on there yeah with the you know economy people just don't have the money and then I'll just end up you know cards little pieces and then you get big pieces every once in a while at that one show I usually do probably three to six hundred just on that one day it, it's I've varied from year to year depending where I wound what street I was on and what the weather did like a couple years we've had rain and that you know people just left I like it. It's fun. You get to meet a lot of people. My dad did them when I was a kid, and so did my step-grandmother. So I grew up going to little towns and setting up.
trying to make sure that I'm not in anything too wet or I'll ruin the pin. Probably even hear the rain, it's hitting the window pretty hard. But, uh, with all this rain, we haven't had to water our yard at all this spring so far. We've just kept the system turned off and unless we get you know several days without rain Get too much of the marker, you can just wipe it right back. As long as it hadn't dried, you have time on the top of the gel medium. Now the markers don't do this if you're not working on top of gel medium. Yeah, it's fun to talk to everybody that's walking through. The girl that I uh, usually show with does stained glass. So we usually set up our booths right next to each other. And that way we can leave our booth and go get something to eat or take a walk. And know that if, you know, we have customers come in that they'll talk to them and Shoot, last time we were at the show, I sold a couple of her pieces when she was not even in the booth. This stuck to the table here. Right here. But it really doesn't matter. Just can't even really tell. So I'm just going to put another coat in some of those places that I worked with the pit pen. And let that dry and then I'll sign it somewhere and take it out and spray it with the triple thick. That's got to be done outside. So that's the front of that one, and then that's the back. And the other, the last thing I'll probably do is a lot of times I'll put a bow up at the top. So I'll probably put some kind of little ribbon or bow somewhere right here around the clip on this, probably in red on this one. See if this one is ready. I'm gonna get by this one just a little bit. Oh, even the necklace tore over here. I didn't catch it. I think I'll find a cork for the back of this and see if I can find something.
I've had a couple, like a sheet of this, which has got just different things. I think I'll just put that you are my sunshine right there and that'll cover that up either that or this beautiful a lot of these say thank you and are more appropriate for like a card I think I like you are my sunshine better. And now, this one doesn't have a whole lot of interest on the back. See if we can prop it up. Pretty sure that ink's still going to move. And smear. Yeah. It's still not dry. Let me see if I can heat set it. It's a permanent ink, but it's on top of that matte gel medium. On this real quick. Just to make it sort of blend a little better. And then I'm going to try on some of these where if it smears or goes off, it's not really going to matter. I just lightly hit them and don't drag too much. I think drying them got most of it. that dry. I'm going to heat that on just a little bit. Oh. 
that was not good. But I may go ahead and use this on here. I'm going to put it right there with the sideways just to give it something else. And like I said, I'll let those dry really good and then I'll spray them with triple thick tomorrow when it's not raining and I'll post pictures on Twitter but that's all I've got today so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording